What up, family? Dan Man Kelpo. Got to say, uh, you know, when it comes to Band Man overall, family, one of them ones that's an entrepreneur, flamboyant, and let his money, you know, speak for itself, right? Now, Band Man from Chicago, and he know the streets, he know the politics, and he know what come with it, right? We seeing a lot of different celebrities, kids get in situations, fam, that they can't get out of. And one would think by the funds being uh, the opportunities and different things like that, that the kid would take advantage of it, the father, mother, whatever the case might be, and make a, bit of, a better situation than the ones that they see amongst the culture or done had, right? Now, Gilly the Kid, before we get into details, I know he feeling some of this same um, pain found. And Gilly was getting backlash, especially from Charleston White, about what Charleston was saying, not having no feelings towards. And, and I want to bring this up before I get into my detail. But he was saying not having no feelings towards celebrities' kids because the celebrity don't have no feelings towards the community, right? Now, I got to say that Charleston right and he wrong. The reasons why he right, because the celebrities do not speak out when it comes to community issues. They just let our cousins, homies, and all of them just, you know, just die. It's nothing to them. They just consume us to what they got going on. Now, when it comes to the flip side of talking about the dead, or wishing something on uh, any man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just don't rock with that, and I just don't get it. In this situation, fam, new reports come in, you know, that band man Kev uh, Kevo son was gunned down in Michigan in the wee wee hours, right? Killed, 15 years old. It kind of hit home because, you know, I went to prison at 15 and I know an individual with gangsterism, you know, at that age, you really don't know what you really into. You know, you ain't lived long enough. You just moving fast. Reason I brought up um, Charleston White on this scenario, uh, fam, dealing with Kevo because I have seen him not pay attention to what's going on in Chicago where he from and throw, and throw a third eye to it and just speak on the money. And that just only surface uh, talk, fam. The most high is breaking celebrities down <laughs> if y'all ain't paying attention. Because it was a time that we didn't see all these different uh, murders concerning celebrity kids. Social media influencing these kids, fam, way more than the parents or the money. But the thing is, I don't feel like, even when it comes to bad man, this is a tragic situation, fam, to lose your, your your child, you know, at 15 years old. My mom lost me to the system, but I'm still, you know, here today. I ain't no coming back off this situation. Could bad man Kevo have saved his son? Because that's that's the answer that, uh, the question that everybody won't answers for. And when it comes to being flamboyant, all these different things, like what is, what is, uh, why individuals ain't putting that energy, fam, into their kids and you got the funds to do it. I'm not saying that situations just don't, you know, don't happen. It'd be surprises. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of these uh, kids, just like fam, is playing in the game that their parents have got them up out of. Or supposed to have. I don't know their relationship, fam. I haven't heard Bandman speak out on this situation. I don't know exactly was they did they have a tight net or whatever the case might be. But when you got, I understand fathers in the neighborhood, and you ain't got it like that, and you're trying to tell your son something, and they still got to go back to the neighborhood and see what they see. You know things happen, but these dudes living in big mansions, fam. 
on the hill and it looked like they wasting more time, fam, in their business with these females or on this social media than it is putting it to their kids because it ain't no way, and I'm not blaming fam. Not blaming fam at all. But it's no way you're supposed to lose your 15-year-old kid in the wee-wee hours like that in the morning, fam, and all the game that you say you have all the money and resources that you say you uh, you have. It seemed like, man, we in a time to where people trying to save everybody else but their own children. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and I'm not sitting here and acting like I've been the best father in the world, you know, all my life. But I'm working toward my, my life is based around my kids. I don't base it around a female. I don't base it around my business. You see what I'm saying? Or whatever the case might be. A lot of these dudes chase their dreams so hard. And I understand you need the money. But these dudes is fully in position, fam. Fully in position. And so I, I don't feel like that this 15-year-old kid, fam, if he had the right aroma, the right energy, the right things poured into him, because like I say, these celebrities is more focused on other people, these women, different things, getting the money than their children. The kids is suffering, fam. Social media is a big drug. A big drug. And what I mean by that is, it's, it's getting people like fentanyl, but it ain't killing them. It's putting them in the whole voodoo transit um, zone, fam, to make them want to go out and be gangsters and they got opportunities to opportunities to do other stuff but they see all this gangsterism with the artists they see all these different things going on on social media and they want to get out and feel that and it's crazy how the hollywood uh kids want to come to the ghetto and the ghetto kids want to go do something different the body is never satisfied fam you know that's why we got to stay disciplined you know what i'm saying and that's why we got to have self-control you know i'm learning that myself you know, you really cannot trust a human being, especially in today's time. You can get more trust with people, you know, back in the days because we was all together. But right now and this time, especially amongst our culture, fam, everybody is out for themselves. These YGs is killing now for nothing. Bad man Kevo lost his son, trust me, fam, for nothing. Ten years from now, whatever little problem, little beef that they thought they had, they won't even remember it, fam. And I'm speaking from experience. But this should be an eye-opener for band man, you know, when it comes to the community. Nobody exempt from this program, fam. Not even me. That's why you got to put good in, into the game when it comes to our culture, fam. To keep things from happening on your side, because believe it or not, a lot of y'all, they got these platforms that God allowing fam to do, to do what you do. It's paying for the stuff that they not putting back in the game. You know, they just taking away from it, fam. But I will keep y'all updated on situations. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.